Well, hey there, buddies. It's your host, Fried Octopus. Welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Bionic Commander Rearmed. Ooh, boy. Ah, oh, we went the wrong way. We gotta go to number 8. Gotta see what number 8's got in store for... No, I'm so sick of these. So hey, how we all doing? Today we're playing some Bionic Commando. We're gonna fight this purple guy, and then we're gonna fight this purple guy, and I never get sick of fighting purple guys, let me tell you. This is a video game where you play a gentleman named Rad Spencer. I might have said this a few times before. It's not a video game where you're a cute lady lady with magical powers, or a video game where you have to line up blocks. It's a video game where you are a soldier. Manly soldier. Manly man soldier. Who masculinely thrusts himself into all sorts of situations. And we're gonna pop over here. We're gonna get killed. Whoop, whoop, yeah! And then a helicopter is gonna swoop over, because up until previously, that truck was preventing the helicopter from landing with its guns. And now we're actually gonna do... something interesting, potential. <laughs> I say that, but I mean, you know. There's no real guarantee. So here we are in the high-tech fortress. Ah, this music rules. In the high-tech fortress, there are blue men. Having fully defeated the purple army, Rad Spencer now moves on to battle the blue army. The great terrors of underwater lands. And he also grabs the power-up. That was close. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get that, but we did. I would like to get up there, maybe? No? Okay! I'm never one to press. I can see when I am not intended to progress to a super sexy and awesome looking area. I will instead just head up the left side of the map. Because over here is a door which we're gonna go in. I wonder if we've already beat the level. Wow, that was an ultimate defense. You did really good, Mr. Gentleman Guard Person, but we are having somehow successfully triumphed over you. I'm not quite sure how we did it, I guess we're just some sort of absolute paragon of masculinity. And now we're going to contact HQ and see what HQ have to say. Mm-hmm. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Does that mean I get something nice from destroying those guns? Somehow I don't think it does. <laughs> Moving on. Ball game, ball game. We're playing the ball game. Seriously, did they think no one would get sick of this after like 20 times? What have you got for me? Power pod problem in the pad, power pod room with the power pod, pad, pood, pood, pad, pud. <laughs> he has infinite lives. Do you know what this means? It means that. Wow. 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 Awesome. I really heartily enjoyed that <laughs> interactive gameplay just now. So, uh, let's try that again. Oh, I did it! Now where are we? Ha! I wrecked your shit! I'm sorry? Were you planning on doing anything ever in your whole life? Uh huh. I am wearing shoes made out of steel. What are you talking about? Aw, oh, man. It's just what I wanted. A ball to bounce. In a... Fuck. I thought I had that for sure. 
Oh man, but that's okay because it means now you guys get to sit there and watch me do more ball bouncing. Oh my god, isn't this just the happiest day of your lives? Sorry, I took the liberty of inviting some fellow soldiers. Uh, get the heck out of here, you nerd! So, does this level even have a boss? Um, I'm guessing maybe... Maybe the tip for defeating the boss is that second platoon likes to sleep in their beds and eat their food. So, all Rad has to do to emerge victorious is get in those beds and have wild, unrestrained sex with second platoon. But first I have to stop getting killed by this, uh, commoner's muck loser enemy that is just... Fuck! No, I want the health. Oh no, please let me have it, thank you. Maybe if I... and then... Oh, nope, fucked it. Fucked it. How am I gonna beat this guy? Oh. Fuck it. No! And away! This level is, seems to be less about awesome grappling action and more about dully moving through gay corridors. I guess. That's cool. I'm, I'm down with corridors. I love me some fucking corridors. Hey, we beat the level. What have you got in store for me, video game? Ah, wait. Are we gonna have to refight that general with all the medals? Is that what's is that what's going on? Go, go, go! Buy your knee. I am the ultimate supensa. Buy your knee. Buy your knee. Buy your knee, commando. Ah, fuck off. Wrong gun, I think. Maybe this? Hmm. And I can't even swing on the ceiling, so it's like, what? I just have to fucking brute force it, I guess. Jesus Christ. I don't get what I'm meant to do there. And here we are, trying out the rocket launcher for the long ass corridor of gay. This guy again. Countless numbers. I have to fight this guy again. What's the deal with that? Kidding. It's gonna take no effort at all. <laughs> Holy shit, and <coughs> the level was so much harder compared to that. What in the hell? What are we teaching our children? We're teaching our children to throw grenades, bonk. You've obtained the shin guards and also perpetual motion. Look at him go. Alright, uh, wow, huh, I hated that. <laughs> um, no, all you got is some protection for your legs. Ugh. 
Yeah, definitely editing 90% of that out. That was embarrassing. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. This has been episode 8. Have a good one!